guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the stuff I'm packing to bring to Universal Studios. This is taking me a while. It's taking me a while to like get everything together. I've been thinking about what to bring for like two weeks. Literally like thinking about like all my character t-shirts, like, oh, sis, it's been exhausting. But here we are. I'm finally filming this video. I've been wanting to record this. I like watching these where people pack. I think it's like fun to watch. It gives me like ideas of like what I want to pack. So I thought it'd be fun to make one. <laughs> um, so I picked up a couple things. Some of the other things I already had. But yeah, I guess I'll get into like shirts first. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to like get this started. Should I show you guys in like full outfits or like shirts, shorts, shoes? You know, like I don't know how to do this to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So I decided I'm just gonna start with tank tops. I don't know. I'm kind of overpacking. Like, at first I was gonna pack 14 outfits. <laughs> like, that's insane. I'm gonna be there for seven days. Like, do I need 14 outfits? No. So, I think I have like seven. I'm gonna buy a couple outfits once I get there. But I don't have a Harry Potter t-shirt. Like, ugh. I was gonna get one from Hot Topic, but then I never like, got there. So, ugh. I don't know. I'm gonna pick up a couple of things after I get there. This haul, you guys, after I get back. Mm, subscribe for that <laughs> i'm so excited for the shopping anyways though i'm gonna show you the shirts that i got tank tops first um this actually just came in the mail today it's um a crusty tank top like oh okay this is so cute it's actually like a crop top like oh my god okay i'm gonna show you a close-up of this print how cute is that i thought this would be so cute to take pictures in like in front of the crusty burger place in springfield and universal like did I even- yeah, yeah, I was about to say, did I even say this from Universal? Yeah. I'll be in Universal Studios for seven days, if I didn't already say that. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, I thought this would be really cute to wear, like, in Springfield, the Simpsons area of Universal, because, like, oh, cute. Pink's my favorite color. Krusty's cute. Like, it's just- I thought this was really cute. It says, hey, hey, kids. Like, I can't do Krusty's voice, but, <laughs> um- yeah, I saw this really cute. I actually found this on Poshmark, which is so, like, random. I don't know, because it's actually from Forever 21, and I don't know if they still carry it. It was $12.90. I'm not 100% sure if they still carry it. It's from the Simpsons line from Forever 21. But yeah, I thought this was really cute and a really cute thing to bring to Universal. I wanted some character shirts. I was kind of, like, I was kind of shopping, but also was like, do I need to, like, buy things that I know I'll buy stuff when I get there? I don't know. I don't know. I did that last year and then I ended up not having enough outfits and then like I felt a lot of pressure to buy things and like not I don't like to force myself to buy stuff you know what I mean like I like to buy something when I love it not just because like I'm forcing myself to buy a shirt because I didn't bring enough shirts you know what I mean anyways next one's this um neon pink tight crop top tank top that I got from American Eagle I showed this in my last like American Eagle haul it's so much more neon in person it really doesn't show up on camera, like, how bright it is. It's, like, so bright. I don't know. But it's, like, a rib tank top. Very cute. It was $19.95 from American Eagle. They still have this. I just picked it up, like, last week. Um, but, yeah, I thought that would be really cute. Very, like, summery. I'm feeling neon for the summer. Like, a lot. Really cute. Um, okay. So, next one. Also from my American Eagle haul. This neon green. Again, like, really not... This is, like, highlighter neon green like in person this is so bright but it's really not it's really not showing up that way i don't know um but yeah i really like it i thought it'd be really cute for summer also i don't know i wanted some tank tops i was scared that like if i didn't have a couple of tank tops to wear throughout the week that i would get like a farmer's tan <laughs> i really don't want that so yeah i wanted to get some tank tops and yeah i guess i'll move on to t-shirts next i'll be back okay guys um I forgot I had another tank top. It was at the bottom of my, like, stack of clothes I'm showing, so I forgot about it. But here it is. It's this Betty Boop tank top, crop top, cropped tank top. <laughs> I got this at JCPenney a couple months ago. I'm not sure if they still have it, but, yeah, it was on sale when I bought it, so I don't know if they would still have it. But, yeah, I got it at JCPenney. It's a really cute print, Betty Boop. Um, I thought this would be cute to bring because, like, they have a Betty Boop store. If you've been to Universal Studios, it's, like, really cute. They also have, like... Betty Boop as a character you can meet. So, like, can you imagine how iconic it would be if I happened to, like, get a picture with Betty Boop and I was wearing this? Like, 
I look like such a fan because I am. I've always loved Betty Boop like so much. She's so cute. Mostly I love Betty Boop because of like um Roger Rabbit. I haven't watched like the actual like Betty Boop show that much. I've seen a couple of you like when I was little and stuff. But yeah, anyways. Um I just thought it's really cute and cute to bring to the Betty Boop store. Also, a picture in front of the Betty Boop store in this would be like so cute, so iconic. So yeah, that's this one. Um my bag. Spongebob tie-dye. Oh, I love this shirt so much. Uh, I did a, um, I don't know what you call it. I did like an unboxing of this on my channel a couple months ago because I was so, so excited when this Lisa Frank Spongebob collection came out at Hot Topic. I was like literally dying. I'm not 100% sure if they still carry this. They might. They might. I don't know. But, um, because it was a couple months ago, but like literally the cutest Spongebob, the cutest tie-dye. If you know me, you know that I'm like I'm always wearing tie dyes. Like, I love them so much. <laughs> I think this is so cute. The only problem is, like, this is kind of a big print, and it's going to be really hot. Like, really, really hot. So, I hope that that doesn't, like, make me feel like I'm dying. Because I feel like when you wear a big, like, I don't know, almost rubbery kind of print when it's hot outside, it's, like, not the best. But I'm bringing it anyways. <laughs> because I just feel like it'd be really cute. Like, can you, like, I wanted to bring shirts that like i knew i could meet characters with him like if i happen to see spongebob like this would be so cute you know so hopefully i'll meet spongebob the day that i'm wearing this we'll see maybe i'll get lucky i don't know <laughs> but yeah i love this shirt so i'm bringing that and okay i'm bringing another tie-dye <laughs> i feel like i shouldn't bring two tie-dye shirts but i am so it's fine whatever I saw this at Target a while back, like a couple weeks ago, and I was like, that would be so cute for Universal. Again, another Simpsons shirt. The Simpsons area of Universal is so cute. It looks so legit to the show, like it's just perfect. Um, but yeah, it's Lisa, she's dancing. I'm pretty sure this is like, they use this like clip of her for like memes, I feel like. And it's just really cute. It's like very oversized, like I definitely could have gotten a smaller size probably, but I didn't. I think a lot of my, like, oversized t-shirts I'll probably, like, tie in the front or the back. I don't know. I cut Sometimes I like my shirts to fit tighter. Sometimes I like to fit looser. So sometimes I just buy them, like, oversized so that I can have that option. <laughs> but, yeah, this is it. I think it's really cute. It's a very, like, colorful, like, nice tie-dye. I think I still have the tag on this. Yeah. This was $14.99 from Target. And, yeah, it was just in, like, I don't know. What do they call that? Like the junior girls department of Target, I guess. Okay, so next t-shirt. I actually got this when I was in Universal last summer. And this is so cute, you guys. Hello Kitty ET. Like, oh my god. I got this at the Hello Kitty store. Honestly, I feel like they probably still carry this. Even though I got it there last year, I have a feeling that they like, they probably still carry this. Because it's very like, ooh. It's very Universal Parks iconic. I bet they had, like, all t-shirts of Hello Kitty, like, um, with, how do you say this? Hello Kitty, like, with Universal Attractions. Like, they had, like, a Jurassic Park Hello Kitty shirt, because they have a Jurassic Park ride and stuff like that. So, and I love the E.T. ride. I know it's very, like, outdated and weird and old, <laughs> but I really love it. Like, when I was little, I loved E.T. so much. I still love E.T., and the ride is just like, I don't know, it's really cute. It kind of reminds me of Peter Pan and Disney, in Disney World, because of the, like, you know Peter Pan when you're, like, flying over the city? E.T. has, like, a similar scene to that. I don't know, it's kind of like, it reminds me of it, kind of. But, yeah, I just really loved this because I love E.T. and I love Hello Kitty and, like, how perfect. <laughs> I don't remember how much this was. Mm, I'm thinking it was, like, 25-ish. I can't remember because it was last year, so obviously I don't have the tag anymore. Also, I keep knocking this off the hanger. But, yeah, I just love this shirt. It's so cute. It's also, like, a really comfortable, nice fabric. Like, the Spongebob print is very, like, kind of, I don't know how to describe that, like, rubbery feeling, but this is a really soft print, so it'll be really comfortable to wear in the parks, even when it's hot. Also, let me know what you guys think about this. I don't know if it's true that black, like, black shirts make you more hot in the summer. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I read that it's a myth, but I don't really know. So then I thought, like, should I be wearing a black t-shirt in, like, 100 degree weather? I don't know. I don't see why it would be true, really. It's just, 
I don't know. I've always been told that, but then when I looked it up and it said it was a myth, I thought like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so I think that's it for shirts. So I guess I'll move on to hmm, shorts. <laughs> yeah, let me grab my shorts really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so shorts. <sighs> you guys, I'm kind of having a crisis because I only have three pairs of shorts wearing. Like, oh my god, I don't honestly know what to do. I'm gonna be there for seven days and I only have three pairs of shorts to bring. Like, <laughs> I have to make it to the store before I leave. I'm leaving in two days and I really need to make it back to the mall to get some shorts. I don't know if I'm gonna have time because I have to work, but, anyways, whatever, these are the shorts I'm bringing. <laughs> so, I showed these my American Eagle haul, these jean shorts. I don't have the tag on them anymore because I've already worn them like twice and also they're wrinkled because I left them on my floor. Why do I do these things? I don't know. I don't know, but these were like, mm, they were in the buy one, get one half off sale. I don't know. I think they were like 50 or something, which is like, to me, honestly, kind of expensive for shorts, but I guess that's like normal for American Eagle. These are cute though. Super high-waisted. I like these buttons. They look kind of like vintage-ish, but yeah, I'm bringing those because everybody needs like jean shorts to wear to the theme park. You know what I mean? Like they just, they're going to go with every shirt. Like I don't have to like worry about the matching or whatever. So, yeah, they were necessary to bring. Next ones were also in my American Eagle haul. These, I think, were like 55, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look back at my, like, American Eagle haul to remember. I can't remember how much they were. But these are really cute. Again, like, they'll match everything. Sorry the lighting keeps changing. Oh, my God. I just realized that. Well, okay, whatever. Um, But, yeah, they have, like, fringe lace. They're really cute. I like them a lot. Again... I've already worn these because <laughs> I got these like a week or two ago, so I don't have the tag on them, but I think they're 55, pretty sure. They've been really comfortable so far, very high-waisted, which I like. Makes me feel like it like sucks in my body <laughs> in a good way and makes my butt look good, which I like. So yeah, I'm going to bring these. I really, really would like to make it back to American Eagle before I leave and get like at least another two pairs of shorts. Like, <sighs> I really don't want to have to wash my shorts while I'm there, like, when will I have the time? You know what I mean? I don't know. I really need to make it to a store. At least, like, Target or something. You know what I mean? Anyways, next shorts are these, like, soft Hollister shorts. I've literally had these for, like, 10 years. <laughs> Hollister shorts hold up, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, I've had these for literally so long, but I'm gonna bring them just because, like, I only have the two pairs of jean shorts. I actually have these in like a magenta color too that would be cute, but I can't find them. I don't know, they might be in my laundry box. I need to try to find them before I leave, but I'm definitely bringing these because they'll go with some stuff I'm bringing. And like soft comfy shorts will be so nice. So nice to wear in the park, such a nice change from like, you know, jeans are fine. They can be comfortable and whatever, but like they'll never be as comfortable as something like this. You know what I mean? So this could be good for like some of those really hot days that it's gonna be. <laughs> I'm really scared, you guys. <laughs> I'm scared that I'm gonna get sunburned. I'm scared that I'm gonna be like sweating the whole time, which actually like, it's a fact, like it's actually happening, whatever. Um. Okay, so next I'm gonna show the shoes I'm bringing. I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna bring all these shoes. Again, like I wanted to get to the mall and get like a new pair of sneakers, maybe a pair of like Chacos or like shoes like Chacos for the water rides, but I haven't been able to get to the mall, so. I just have a couple of different pairs of shoes that I'm thinking about bringing. First ones are these um, Tweety Bird Converse. I think these are really cute. I feel like Looney Tunes fits in with Universal. I don't think that they're, well, I was supposed to say I don't think there's Looney Tunes or anything, but I think that Dudley do right. Is he a Looney Tune? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there's anything Looney Tune at Universal. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100% sure. But I feel like Looney Tunes fits in with Universal. Definitely more than it does at Disney, obviously. But yeah, I love these so much. I think they're so cute. I honestly haven't even worn them that much yet. So I might as well bring them. I don't know. I also don't want to get them messed up, like this like light color. But I love pink, so I don't know. We'll see. I feel like these would be cute with some things I'm bringing. So probably these. Um, These are my next pair. Are some like knockoff Yeezys. <laughs> I found these at like a random store i forgot what it's called it's kind of like tj maxx or whatever 
And then I saw these and I was like, sis, those look kind of like Yeezys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love these. Also, I, also, again, with like the light pink, like they'll get so dirty. I don't know. I brought these to Universal last year actually and they were like pretty comfortable, which I was worried about because like being like a no real brand shoe, I was like, are these gonna like kill my feet? I don't know. Are they gonna like fall apart? But they were fine. So I might just bring them again anyways. I don't have that many sneakers to bring. I don't really know what to do, you guys. I really, really need to get to the store. I also kind of wanted to go to the mall before I recorded this video, but then I thought like if I don't end up getting there, then I'm not gonna end up recording this video because I won't have time, so whatever. I just recorded it anyways. I might end up getting another pair of shoes before I leave. I don't know. But yeah, I'm taking these. Um, Next ones I'm taking, honestly, I'm not gonna wear these into the park. But I'm taking my blingy slide. These are literally my favorite shoes. I wear them like every day. Like I wear these shoes like every day of my life. They are um Madden Girl brand. The Madden Girl logo rubbed off. Honestly, after like wearing them like twice. And I've had them for like a year now. I wear them all the time. They're like the blingiest, cutest shoes. I just love slides. Like they're so easy to wear. You don't have to find socks. I wear these like all the time. These are my favorite. So I'm gonna bring them with me even though like I'm sure I'm not going to wear them into the park, just to like, I don't know, I could possibly wear them to City Walk. I might go to Disney Springs. I really want to go to Disney Springs, like, so bad, because I'm not going to Disney this time, but I really want to go to Disney Springs, like, really bad. <laughs> so I might wear these to, like, Disney Springs or, like, Universal City Walk, or, like, if I just go somewhere that's not the park, I don't know. So I'm just going to bring them anyways. I don't know. Yeah, I'm bringing those. Um, I'm bringing these... Hello Kitty Vans. Again, I feel like this would be cute with my like Hello Kitty outfit. And like cute like in front of like the Hello Kitty store for pictures and stuff like that. Vans, I don't know are the most comfortable shoes to wear to the park. I really don't think they are. <laughs> but I don't have like super good sneakers to bring right now. So I'm just considering my options. Like my best sneakers that I have. I don't know. Also, don't really want them to get messed up. I don't know. I feel like these kind of Vans with like the prints aren't the best to wear in a place where like you know they're probably gonna get wet i don't know you guys i don't know <laughs> but i just don't have that many sneakers to bring so i'm thinking about bringing them i probably will i probably will just because like i don't have that many sneakers to bring okay so one more pair of shoes that i'm thinking about these slides you guys they've been through it these pink slides have been through a lot they have like splits and they're like i don't know where this crease even came from i don't know but these are like really cute holographic slides, but they've been through it. I've had these for like two years. I've worn them a lot, but I'm bringing them because we're staying at Cabana Bay's resort at Universal and they have a pool. So I probably need pool slides. I don't know if I'll end up in the pool. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know, but it's there. So I'm going to bring some pool slides anyways. And I'm bringing these because they match the swimsuit I'm bringing, which I'll show you guys. Um, the swimsuit, it's like a vintage style, well, here's the bottoms, they're like high-waisted, it's like a very vintage, I don't know, I feel like it looks kind of like 50s-ish, I thought it was so cute, I got this at Belk, which is so random, I don't really like shop at Belk that much, <laughs> I used to think it was such an old lady store, but you guys, Belk's, Belk's got some cute stuff, okay, <laughs> but yeah, I got this at Belk, it was actually like, it was like $60, but it would have been like 120 they were doing half off, I don't know, if they still have it, I got it a couple weeks ago. They might, I don't know. But yeah, I thought this would be really cute, especially to bring to Cabana Bay, because Cabana Bay is like, it's like a 60s themed um, hotel. So it's like a 60s-ish looking swimsuit, so I thought that'd be cute. And um, here it is with the slides, and they match the palm trees, so I thought that'd be cute. I don't know. A picture at the pool, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm always thinking about those Instagram posts, you guys. Always thinking, like, what's going to be cute for pictures. Also, for the memories, like, whatever for Instagram. But, like, for me, I love to take pictures. I love to, like, have outfits that I know are going to be cute in my location. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. So, next things. I guess I'm going to show my, like, what would you call this? A toiletries bag, I guess? Yeah. Next thing is my toiletries bag. I'm going to have... I like to keep all this kind of thing in a separate bag from my, like, normal suitcase. I should show you guys my suitcase. This suitcase has been with me my whole life. <laughs> you guys, this is a Universal Cheer bag. I don't know, like, if Universal Cheer is, like, everywhere. But when I was little, I used to go to this church. 
and every summer or whatever they would have or was it summer i can't remember anymore um but they had this like universal cheer universal basketball and stuff and i used to go to it when i was little and i've always kept the duffel bag because <laughs> it's such a like good quality duffel bag i've had this bag since i was like honestly maybe 10 or younger i think like 10 i don't know but like i'm 23 now i've had this bag for over 10 years and like it's a good quality duffel bag, and so I use it every time I travel. <laughs> I wish I had, like, a really cute, like, Louis Vuitton travel bag and, like, you know what I mean? But I don't. I have an old cheer bag from when I was little, but it works. And it's got a crap ton of space. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can literally fit so many outfits in this. It's huge. And it has a little Hello Kitty keychain that's very beat up because I've had her for a really long time. But, yeah, that's my travel bag. Um, anyways, back to my, like, toiletries bag. I just used this, like, beach bag. I got, um, I think I got this the last time I was in Florida from this store called Del Sol. It actually changes colors in the sun, which is so fun. Everything at Del Sol, like, changes colors in the sun. They have really cute things. Um, I think it was in Panama City, Florida, if you guys ever go there. So, first thing in my toiletries bag, makeup bag, obviously. This is actually from the Disney store. Um, hold up, you guys. My phone's about to die. Okay, guys, sorry. I was on 4%. I had to run and go get a charger really fast. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I was saying, first thing in my toiletry bag is my makeup bag. This is from the Disney store. I got this there a couple years ago. This is actually a, like, um, what do you call this? It has, like, pencils and stuff in it. They sell these, like, every year around, like, back to school time. They're literally so cute. And, like, this is such good quality. I've been using this for, like, honestly probably more than two years and like it's held up so well it was like 15 dollars i think and it's so perfect for makeup i think unless you're someone that carries like a ton of makeup but especially like when you're traveling i feel like you don't want to carry too much makeup so it's perfect for a travel bag i actually just use it all the time but it's actually perfect for a travel bag um but yeah it's really cute i love it very glittery bell like it's just really cute so that's my makeup bag um let's see next thing is my hair waver tool from bedhead yeah this is what i use i'm i'm not 100 percent sure that i'll fix my hair like a lot this trip i don't know i want to be cute like for pictures and stuff but also like is there a point in fixing your hair when like you're probably gonna get wet in orlando it rains all the time there's water rides it's gonna be really hot like do i want to do this i don't know i don't know but I'm bringing it anyways. It's just a waiver tool. I love this thing so much. It takes me like 10 minutes to fix my hair. Like it's just the best. And like my hair's really, really long, you guys. So curling my hair is a no. It takes way too long. <laughs> but this is great. Um, okay, so next thing, my toiletries bag. Obviously, hairbrush. Um, this is my favorite Bath and Body Works lotion. It's twisted peppermint. They always sell this at Christmas time. It smells amazing. I cannot go without lotion because my feet get so dry. <laughs> like, sorry if that's um, TMI, but, like, I have to put lotion on my feet every day, so I gotta bring her. <laughs> um, let's see. Deodorant, obviously a necessity. It's gonna be really hot. I'm gonna be sweating a lot, so cannot forget deodorant. Okay. Um, also, I forgot a pair of shoes I was gonna show you guys. I am not 100% sure I'm gonna bring these, but I really want to. <laughs> I was actually going to unbox these for my channel. I might still do it. I don't know. But you're going to see it in this haul first. Or like, not haul, but packing video or whatever. You guys. <laughs> oh, these are like my new favorite shoes. These like glitter Adidas. I think they were called like Shock Pink Falcon Adidas sneakers. Like, you guys. I want to bring these so bad, but I don't want them to get messed up. That's the thing. Like, Universal is hard on shoes, you know? And like, this is like... The glitter on this is like not a sealed glitter so like it could get scratched off or like messed up but like how cute would this be with the outfits i'm bringing like mm, i want to bring these so bad i think these were about about a hundred i can't remember for sure how much they were i don't know and i don't have like the receipt or whatever with me but yeah i just love these so much i haven't even got to wear them that much yet because I, I just got them i don't know i want to bring these really bad but let me know what you guys think. Would these get destroyed? I feel like they would. And I don't want them to get ruined because they're like my new favorite, but I want to wear them so bad. I don't know. I'm still trying to decide about those. I just think they'd be really cute with the outfits. Um, okay. 
What next? Okay, so I have a couple accessories. These are my new favorite sunglasses. These rainbow hearts. I got these at Tilly's. You guys. Hi. Like, how cute are these? And they're rainbow, so they go with every outfit. I gotta say, like, probably not the best for blocking the sun, actually. <laughs> but I love that I'm like, all my favorite sunglasses are my heart-shaped sunglasses. I have, like, ten pairs that are heart-shaped. But, like, I think these are my favorite. <laughs> I don't know they're just like so cute as soon as I saw these I was like I have to have them like now so yeah I think these were like pretty cheap they're from Tilly's they were like mm, $15 or so something like that they would probably still carry these I got them mm, I don't know a month or two ago so I think they would probably still carry these if you guys want them um okay so next accessories I'm not really bringing that much jewelry because I just feel like sweating a lot. I don't want to wear like necklaces and stuff probably. Um, I'm pretty much just bringing these like basic diamond studs. The classic everyday earrings. I actually have like both earring holes. What do you call that? Double piercing? I don't know. I have like two earring holes but I don't... I didn't grab my other earrings for this video but I'm gonna bring them. <laughs> just like a smaller version of these. Just some like basic cute earrings. Um, okay, so then I'm also bringing these scrunchies. These were also in my American Eagle haul. I haven't even worn these yet. Um, these were $7.95 for both. I don't know if I'm going to wear my hair up or down. I don't know. I want to wear it down because, like, I like my hair down so much more. Also, wearing my hair up, like, gives me a headache. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, but I'm bringing these anyways, just in case I want to put my hair up. And also, I feel like they'll be so cute with the outfits if I do decide to put my hair up. Um, but yeah, these like super sparkly scrunchies are super cute. I think they would definitely still have these at American Eagle. I just got them like two weeks ago or something. So those are the scrunchies. Okay, so I think that's almost it, you guys. Okay, so this is also like really unnecessary, but I'm bringing mini ears. <laughs> I'm not going to Disney this time, but I might go to Disney Springs. And if I'm going to Disney Springs, I'm breaking out the mini ears. <laughs> I want to wear them so bad and like I'm bringing these just because like regardless of whatever outfit I'm wearing that day like these will match and they'll be cute very like I don't know sparkly mini ears I love these so much I want to go to Disney Springs so bad you guys like we're gonna take breaks from the park throughout the day because my Nana's coming with us and stuff so we could totally make time to go to Disney Springs I might end up getting to go there I don't know so I'm bringing these just in case um hmm I think that might be about it. Obviously, I'm bringing, like, socks, underwear, toothbrush, other necessary things <laughs> that I'm just not going to show in this just because, like, I didn't feel like grabbing them. Also, I'm not leaving yet, so I just didn't grab my toothbrush. But, yeah, I'm obviously taking a toothbrush, toothpaste, all that unnecessary to show things just because, like, duh. Um, okay, so this is the bag that I'm bringing this time. This is my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini bag. That is a fake. <laughs> I did a video about this a couple weeks ago on my channel. I got this from DHgate. Um, but yeah, check that out. Um, I'll try to remember to put that in the link. Or the link to it in my description box. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to see that and like see me talk about the bag and everything. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be a really cute... I really wanted a cute small mini backpack. I brought a mini backpack last year, but it wasn't as small as this one. Um, and at Universal, when you go on roller coasters and stuff, you have to use a locker to, like, put your bag in and stuff. And the mini backpack I brought last year was, like, it was a mini bag, but it wasn't so small. And this one's, like, a lot smaller. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like this will be a lot easier to, like, shove into the lockers. Because you really have to, like, squish your stuff into those tiny lockers. But, yeah, I thought, like, this cute little, like, mini backpack would be so cute to carry around the parks. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be really cute with the outfits I'm bringing. I really wanted a Louis Vuitton mini backpack, but I didn't want to pay 2000 for it. Please don't come at me. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. Um, let me think. I think that's it. Oh, okay. Well, basically the last thing. Obviously, an iPhone charger is necessary. A couple other, like, necessary things that I'm just, like, forgetting to show. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. Whew. This is a lot of stuff. This video ended up being so much longer than I meant it to be. Holy crap. This is going to be like 20 minutes. Whoa. I meant for it to be like 10. I'm sorry. 
Anyways, um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of, like, vlogs while I'm there. I'm honestly gonna be trying to vlog, like, as much as I can. Um, I'm gonna be going to a lot of different restaurants. I'm gonna give you guys all the reviews of those restaurants. I'm gonna be doing hauls for this trip. Like, definitely subscribe if you're into, like, theme parks, universal content. Probably will vlog at Disney Springs if I get down there. Um, but yeah, definitely subscribe for those things. My Nana's coming. It's her first time. I want to try to, like, get some reactions of, like, her seeing Universal for the first time. I feel like that would be fun. Especially, like, for memories for me. Um, but yeah, definitely like this video and subscribe if you like this video. Um, I do, like, hauls, trailer reactions. Um, I'm gonna be doing theme park vlogs. I'm an annual pass holder to Universal now. <laughs> I'm super excited. So I'm definitely gonna be, like, going back as so often as I can. Doing vlogs and stuff. But yeah, definitely um, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Or see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Sorry, guys. I forgot, like, one thing. This is it. Just this last thing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be filming a, like, What's in My Bag video for Universal Studios. I'm not gonna be doing that right now. I'm talking about it right now because this video is already way too long. But yeah, definitely subscribe if you want to see what's gonna be in my... Universal Studios park bag and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys